What's up, guys? We're here at Team Solomon Circus. We got with Todd once again playing the Earth Pile stuff. We got three one today. What'd you play for real? Uh, Vernus Cell Maturia. Vernus Cell How'd it go? Good. Show us what I, I, I played Ancho Pass, basically. Ancho Pass. Okay, okay, okay. Ancho. Well, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe before we dive in. And well, show us what you got. Alrighty, I played these three. I just like these cards, so I keep playing decks with them. Fair um, enough. I'll just lay them all. Um, um, they all do the same thing. These ones all do the same thing. You just get another monster and one of themselves. You special summon an earth monster from the graveyard and they all do something else. So this one searches for a Vernisov card. This one sends any earth monster from your deck to the graveyard, but you cannot summon the monster that you send uh, with his same effect. So you can't just ditch and summon it. This one searches for any earth fairy. This one adds an earth back from grave and this one draws a card and then specials. He's playing this one for Easter, boys. Yeah, Easter. Uh, no, I actually played this one because I need another name, but yeah, we'll go with Easter. Um, and then we played this one too. This one says once per turn, you can uh, target it in a, a monster your opponent controls, take control of it, and it actually becomes Earth. And then during your opponent's turn, you can target an Earth monster in your graveyard, special summon it to your side of the field. And then during either player's turn, if you control five Earth monsters, uh, without activating any card effects, just at the, res at the resolution in the middle of a chain, you can choose to negate a monster effect if you have five Earths on the field. It's a super cool effect. It is a super cool effect. And we're playing an Echeria card, so you, like, I just always had five Earths. Like, whenever I summon this, I just always had five. It also helps you break boards. And it's a uh, 3k defense, so it's pretty good in defense. Uh, we played Naturia cards, too. We played three of this. Crazy card. Everybody should know what this is by now because of Runic. I'm not that good at the game, so I'm not playing that deck. Uh, on summon, you send a Naturia card from deck to grave. When your opponent normal special summons, you can summon a Naturia from your graveyard. And if you activate an effect that would tribute for a Naturia monster, you can send the top two from your deck to grave instead. Uh, once per turn. So like Mole Cricket tributes uh, itself to summon a cherry from the deck and then you can, if your opponent has the biggest monster in the field, you can summon two. So say you have like Camellia, you could like tribute this, but you could mill two instead of tributing it. So you'd keep this and then get your monster. So you can do it again. Yes. And uh, that's a quick effect. So you can do that during either player's turn. So that's kind of where this comes in. You can like tribute this, get two Naturias on your turn. Say one of them is Camellia, you can just leave it there. Um, and then during your opponent's turn, if it's still there, you can tribute it again, get two more materials, and then if you have this, this becomes a negate. Makes sense to me. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know, that card, that card's insane. That's the only reason I played deck, really. Um, but yeah, sorry, the tribute effect from deck is a quick effect. So you can do it during your opponent's turn, and if your opponent summons from the extra deck, or you summon a cherry from the extra deck, you can special this back from the graveyard. But both of those effects are once per turn. Uh, I played a horn needle. This one, I played these three. Uh, this one, if your opponent attacks into Turia, you can send it to the graveyard to negate the attack in the battle phase. This one sends itself in another monster to negate a monster effect and destroys it. And if your opponent special summons a monster, you can send another Naturia. Sorry, tribute. These two tribute. This one sends. So this... Camilla can't keep this alive in the battle phase. These two you can mill to for Camilla instead. Uh, this one tributes a, a different interior to destroy a special summon monster. Not bad, not so bad. Say you have like Camilla and like either one of these, you can activate their effects and then mill two instead of tributing. And uh, fun fact, none of these, like, these are not once per turn. So as long as you can tribute this itself and another Naturia, you can keep doing it. Um, I played Anchal. This, for some reason, was the best card in the deck all day. Uh, non once per turn, uh, every time your opponent special summons a monster, you get to summon a level three or lower Naturia from your deck broken so if you have this on field you can summon this you can summon this and you can summon this and if you summon this this summons all of this so you constantly just have a bunch of earth monsters on the field um this is the mvp shout out to ancho <laughs> uh oh sorry and i played bamboo shoot this card's busted yeah you play the vernisov card so if you have a discard plus camilla you uh say like discard send camilla do whatever you can summon camilla camilla can send tree when tree sent to the grave, it searches FDK and you branded. just tribute someone for this, yeah. You can, uh, this hurts branded, uh, it's pretty funny when they don't stop you when you're playing like trap tricks, because as soon as you summon this, you're not allowed to activate spells or traps, so you can't even respond to it. Uh, I played the Earth Fairies, just, I don't Why know. Why not? Yeah, exactly. My Locals has a lot of graveyard reliant decks, there's a lot of like dragon decks, there's a lot of trap tricks, so just these hit the graveyard, these let you mill. Um, 
This is our Vernisol trap. This is when it's in the graveyard, you have no cards in your hand, you can banish it. Summon as many Vernisols back as possible. That's why I played these, but it's not in the deck list because I actually just was really late for locals and I forgot to grab it, but I would play that card. Uh, you played Earth Stash Shoe because. Cold decks are cool. No one's playing Earths. Yeah, and like. It's kind of subpar, but if you can end on both of these, they can uh, destroy this by battle. You can use this, bring it back, and then they have to still deal with it. And your whole deck's Earth, yeah, so you don't have to deal with it. Uh, three Ash, just Ash is good. Uh, Tunibiru, I didn't want to play three, but they're they're pretty standard. Uh, spells and Traps, three tactics. Why three? Why not two? Uh, because the Vernisols really kill my hand, so I really just want to see this card so I can draw two usually. Makes sense. But if... You have to use the other effects and it makes sense. Just use the other effects. You don't always have to draw. Call by because hand traps are back. Uh, three blessing and three tree. Both cards that are broken. Yeah, this is basically just like a monster born or summon from hand. And then you can synchro summon during your opponent's turn with it. You just set it, you flip it, you use the effect to synchro summon. And you don't have to go into an Achuria, you just have to use an Achuria, so you can make like Baron during your opponent's turn. Um, this card is another reason why Ant Jaw is the MVP. And whenever this is sent to grave, you just search for an Atreid card. The Pretty other effects crazy. don't really come up. Uh, extra deck. I played uh, Psychic Chem Punisher. This card's actually really funny in this deck because if your opponent summons a bunch, main phase two, like say you flip Blessing, summon Ant Jaw, you just flood the board with all your little guys, and then you bump them into something on their side, and this just like gets so big from it. Um, and every time Cash Tira sees this, they have to decide between one of these two. Usually they hit Zeus just because it's the mainstream thing to hit, but this card is a big problem for Cash. It's a big problem for everything, really. Yeah. Um, I play Trishula. Um, you can make this during your opponent's turn with the spell card or during your turn. When it's summoned, you target three cards your opponent controls and you banish them. So it was just like a way to remove for removal. Um, when I tested, I went to this a lot more than regular Trishula, so I like this more because clearing boards is just way better than hitting the hand. Right now, at least, because it's like very interactive game again. Uh, Baron's pretty straightforward. I played Chang Yang. Pretty straightforward. Card yeah, busted. Yeah, like some of this banishment. Yeah, she's your guys. Banish card. Everyone's banishing cards right now, so it's good. Scrap Dragon, mainly because it's an Earth and it's a level eight. So if you tribute Mole Cricket, go into two fours. You can go into this and pop something. Uh, if you draw this, you can pop it. Get a search. Keep going. Uh, Black Rose, because you can make Black Rose in your opponent's turn with the spell card, so you can nuke the board. Uh, Black Rose does miss timing though, so only do it if it's in like a. There's no chain, like the Brackles has to be the last thing to summon. The Coral Dragon, same reason Runic plays it, just discard, pop something, and then you get to draw when it's gone. Uh, beast played the beast. beast, yeah. Yeah, Beast is Beast, Sparkion. Sparkion. Sparkion, yeah. <laughs> they do their stuff. Exactly. Uh, I play the Zeus, because I play this. This is an Earth, just something to go into. Um, and I play Exton Knight, because it's really good at clearing the board if you don't uh, use the Renosulfs. And then I played these three, mainly because they're all Earths. So you can like summon this again if you're me you'll draw this all day so you can discard it and get a draw uh, get a draw off this if it's if it's co-link then you can pop a card donner distribute to destroy and this is i don't know the charmers are good everybody plays charmers because you have to play charmers uh yeah that's it no side deck or you want to keep it spicy uh, i can show you the side deck it's nothing really big three honestly. evenly matched <laughs> pretty much I played a bunch of Bestials. We have a lot of Dragon Link running around. We have around, a lot of Dragon so. Link here. We have a lot of Math Mech. We have a lot of Sprite decks. There's a lot of Twins. This just kind of helps deal with it. Uh, I play these for the tact, for the Thrust. Uh, these go in second because you play so many Tuners, you can just Synchro. Um, same with this. Duster's just removal. Uh, I played three of this because, like I said, Dragon Link and uh, Sprite are very popular in my locals. And this should probably be in my main deck, but I didn't main it. I just started it because you have to play it this format. Fair so enough. Well, thank you for the deck profile, and uh, hopefully you see you soon. Hopefully.